watching her bounce. Did you see the attitude of the dog? Tail up, ears up. She's playing with it. Ears up, tails up. That dog is absolutely on that bird. This is a dog that's got really good bird drive and she's got good prey drive too. That's perfect. That is absolutely that that's what that sight picture looks like. That's what we want. And she's coming back to you, so we pick up the bird and Now it's mine. 
You see, she put it down? Yeah, my sure. bird. Okay. Good job. Good girl. All right. You're going to be either working on the bird or around the bird. Right. Okay? When you're working on the bird, you've got three jobs. And they're your jobs. Your first is, is where's the bird? Okay? Everybody always doesn't pay any attention to where I put birds when I'm putting birds down. Then we get out there on the checkboard and they go, I don't know where the bird is. You need to know where the bird is. Okay? You need to know what direction the breeze is going. Okay? Because you've hunted for a while, so you understand up and down. Okay? And the third question you got to ask yourself is, where should I be? So if you're working on the bird, you should be downwind. Got okay? to the bird. The breeze is coming this way. To get a dog to really point and get those beautiful kind of points that you're seeing, you want to come across the breeze. Okay? You want to, want to come across the breeze. A lot of people make the mistake. They go, there's the bird. The breeze is coming this way. And they come in this way. This teaches the dog to run the bird up, to road in on the bird. What we want to see, because what I'm looking for is as your dog crosses the scent cone, I'm looking for the head turn, I'm looking for the foot turn, and usually they'll rock up into a point. Now, that's one option. They rock up into a point, we're good to go. The other thing, what I expect to see on this little drone over here, is that she's going to cross the scent cone, and she's going to go, oh, there it is. At the time the second foot comes down, so I come down, my head turns, I turn, they get that one. As soon as I see a muscle twitch, the bird flies. At the point that the bird flies, stop the dog. What I mean by stop the dog, the dog has to stand still. The criteria for stop is all four feet on the ground, no dancing, no moving around. Stop and stand still. Okay? That's all they got to do. Stop and stand still. All right, and then the bird flies away, and then you work on the be still. We're going to work on you got to stay there. got to stay there. Okay, we're going to tell them what a good dog they are, and then our command to continue hunting, a couple taps on the side, and we'll move them on to the next one. Now, if you're working around the bird, it means that you're not downwind. I didn't send you downwind. I sent you out. What will happen is as soon as you see this dog point, or if you see the bird in the air, Dogs can't stop moving. Okay? So you're gonna stop her with the mother collar, you know, with the pinch collar or your flat collar, depends how strong you are. Uh, and you stop the dog, and again, no, no bad dances. Okay? So what that teaches them, you teach back in from day one. So that so that the so from very day one, they know that when they see another dog pointing, they gotta stop. So our rules are very consistent. If you smell a bird, stop, don't move. If you see another dog on point, stop, don't move. If a bird flushes, stop, don't move. So they learn so that they choose. So you can hear, you've seen us run a couple of finished dogs already. There's no lowing, there's no yelling, there's no screaming, there's no nothing. It's just, they, they go, oh, bird in the air, feet stop moving. Oh, dog on point, feet stop moving. So they get it. And now how we do that is we have to teach it. It's just like if I taught you how to do arithmetic, you got to do it over and over again, you know, to learn how to do it. So that's how we do it. We teach it. So we teach it on checkboard. Okay. We, after they learn it, then we overlay the check cord with the e collar, and then the check cord's gone, and all the e collar is is a two mile long check cord. So it literally is a, it's a tag. It's never, never that's what it does. Tell them. Creep up on the collar. Oh yeah. If your dog does go on point. Get right up on the collar, and because we want to help her, be, help them be successful. We don't want to help them. before the bird was in the air. Okay. Okay, let me get the bird, let me get the bird up and then you stop it.
Now see how much rope you had to deal with? Right. You don't need to be out there. Okay. When you're checkpointing your dog, really about all you need is about like this. See the dog recognize the bird? Stop her. Good job. Get your hand down on that collar. Get your hand down on the collar. Oh, no, 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 no. What do you think that is, Avishla? No, I know it, but you're not going to pick her up. If you pick her up, you're going to pick her up the rest of your life. See how the collar I'm pulling her slightly forward? Uh -huh. Touch her on the side. Get your panty out. And then release the pressure. Somebody taught her to sit. Is she feeling pressure? Yeah. So what she's doing is she's giving me her reaction of what she thinks is the correct answer. Once I got her up, release the pressure to let her know that's what I was looking for. And she was confused. She was offering, it's called offering behavior. She was offering lots of different behaviors because she didn't understand. It's her first time out. And all I'm asking her to do is stand up. And if I stand there and go, stand up, she doesn't understand. Okay? So by me establishing the point of contact on her stifle, you saw her avoid my foot. She's saying, I don't like that. That's uncomfortable. How do I shut it off? How about if I stand here? And what did I just tell her? That's exactly what I'm looking for. What did you do? Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So you don't need to be taking it around. In this method, less is more. These guys are smart. Let them figure it out. Put them in a position, let them figure it out. They're problem solvers, so trainers need to be problem solvers too. I don't care. All right. I don't feel a breeze. There it is. Watch your dog. You just acknowledge that bird. The bird's over there. Good job. That timing was perfect.